Hello and welcome to Lion Lane Game Dev. So let me show you the updates that I applied here. Jump on enemies and kill them. Here is the Goomba enemy. You can jump and kill them. New widescreen resolution based on original. I changed the resolution. As you can see, the resolution is widescreen now. And it's, it's almost like the original game. Blocks that has items, I added. And block has coin or mushroom. This block has mushroom in it. This one has coin. This is mushroom, coin. I added background misc. This is the background misc, the bushes and the hills in the background of the game. These are the clouds. These were somehow challenges in the editor, but I overcome them for now. I added enemy turtle behavior. Here is a turtle enemy. Like in the game, I hit him and he stops. I hit him, he can move. Here is the star item, for example, I put star in this block. You should be invincible by this power up, but I haven't applied it yet. This is a breakable object, breakable block, I mean. Also, the level is almost over, I remade it. Let me play the game for you to see. These are the pipes. Of course, double jump is not in the original game, but for now I put it in. Here, here's where the level ends and I haven't completed yet. Here is the things that I learned so far. This is groups. Groups are like families back in Construct 3, I think. And also like tags in Unity. You can see node groups and I added this as player function on enter if body is in group player then we can detect if it's a player and complete our code for enabling full screen in godot i learned this display server dot window set mode display server dot window mode full screen this is how you full screen the game or exit it into window mode if you want to exit the game, if input press key, if you press escape in this code, get 3.quit, quits the whole game. For instantiation or create, creating node, this is a good code. Variable coin prefab, we load a scene as a prefab, preload var vcoin, our new coin, I mean coin prefab dot instantiate 
Vcoin dot we set the position here get tree dot root dot add child the new instance should be added as a child to the root of the game and we can control this new instance and also uh, I called a function of it here pause all except one note if you set get three dot paused equals true this pauses the whole game and process mode equals node dot process mode when paused if I have an audio object and I want the audio to be played while the game is paused I can go to process mode and set it to always so when everything is paused now the audio won't be paused lock nodes in editor is very useful Control plus L locks selected nodes it will help your prefabs to be selected only by main node for example I have a pipe object I want to uh, select and move it and but I accidentally select the animated sprite and messes the editor of my game and level so I select this animated and collision nodes and uh, press Control plus L to lock them. This really helps me to design the game. As you can see now I can drag and select these and move them. Instancing in editor save scenes like a prefab lock them childs save sprites. This is a node make sure to save the sprite frames when you have editable children in the editor of your level then you can load them and load them as your prefabs picking nodes in groups is very very important in making games especially in puzzle games as you can see I have all these blocks and the blocks that which uh, their X position are less than our player are uh, transparent here we say wire nodes equals get three dot get nodes in group block we find the blocks which are in the group of the blocks and for loop we note in nodes and our condition and our code we can use variables and many things like that in this code thanks for watching